Okay, we can start now. So thank you everyone for coming today. Today we are going to recognize you and the law enforcement community for all the outstanding work that you do for keeping us safe. And it is an honor and a privilege to acknowledge you today and the agencies that you represent, especially those that you lead. So be it resolved, relative to recognizing Guam's law enforcement officers on the celebration of National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day on January 9, 2022, and commending Guahan's brave men and women in law enforcement for their service and sacrifice to protect our island community. Be it resolved by the Committee on Rules of Imanai Trantai Sais Nalasatorn Guahan, whereas law enforcement is the act of compelling observance and compliance with a law, rule, or obligation. And each day, the brave men and women in Guam's law enforcement entities play a crucial role on our island in fulfilling their law enforcement missions. And whereas, the Guam Police Department exists to serve the community by protecting life and property, by preventing crime, by enforcing the laws, and by maintaining order for all citizens and residents. Whereas, the Guam Customs Quarantine Agency is Guam's first line of defense in protecting our borders and securing our ports of entry to protect the people of Guam. And whereas the Office of the Attorney General represents the government of Guam, prosecutes on behalf of the people of Guam, and upholds the rule of law. And whereas the Guam International Airport Authority Police seeks to ensure the safety of the traveling public and to support and assist in the development of air services for the island. And whereas the Port Authority of Guam Police are functionally responsible for the protection of life and property through the authority's security rules and regulations, Guam's criminal and motor codes, the Maritime Security Act, and applicable federal and local security programs, laws, rules, and regulations. Whereas Guam Homeland Security coordinates and facilitates all government of Guam, military and federal liaison response agencies and their resources in mitigating, preparing, responding, and recovering from all types of emergencies in order to protect lives, the environment, and the property of the island of Guam. And whereas the Guam Department of Agriculture conservation officers seek to protect and recover Guam's native fish and wildlife resources, and they continue to monitor, manage, and recover Guam's natural resources. And whereas the Guam Department of Corrections, in collaboration with the Guam Parole Board, protects the public from the destructive action of law offenders through the control and rehabilitation. And whereas, I've got to give a loud shout out to this one as a former director, the Department of Youth Affairs <laughs> improves the quality of life on Guam for all people through the development and implementation of programs and services that promote youth development, decreases juvenile delinquency and status offenses, and strengthens the family unit and, con and communities of juvenile offenders. And whereas the Judiciary of Guam, in conjunction with the Probation Division and the Marshals Division, administers justice by interpreting and upholding the laws, resolving disputes in a timely manner, and providing accessible efficient and effective court services. Whereas the Department of Public Works is responsible for performing a wide variety of public service activities and ensuring compliance with statutes by conducting quality control for construction, infrastructure, maintenance, and road repair projects, and providing busing transportation for all school students. And whereas the Department of Parks and Recreation the Territorial Patrol Officers and the State Historic Preservation Office promote health and wellness through the community, recreation programs, recreational facilities, and the maintenance of public parks and restrooms. And they work to protect and preserve Guam's historic and cultural resources. And whereas Guam's law enforcement officers work and collaborate with federal, local, and regional counterparts to assist and aid the community with programs and campaigns to include, but not limited to, neighborhood watch programs, volunteers and police services, programs known as VIPs, Stop the Evil, Summer Youth Employment Internship Programs, Guam Adult Reentry Court Programs, 
Prescription take back day. Drive sober or get pulled over. Click it or ticket. Toka hotline and Toka app. Victim information notification every day, known as Vine, and the Citizens Court program. All for the betterment of our island community. And whereas Guam's law enforcement officers endure long work hours in the dangerous and unpredictable circumstances, they operate under extreme pressure. They deal with complex and challenging situations and see some of the worst elements of humanity. And they embody the courage to serve and protect so that we can live peace in peace and have security on our island. And whereas Guam's law enforcement officers who wear the badge and who are on the front lines daily are the first people we turn to in times of desperation. They are selfless public servants who risk their lives and put themselves in harm's way to ensure that our people, our community, and our island are kept safe and secure. Now, therefore, be it resolved. That the Committee on Rules of Imanai Trantai Sai, Na Lator and Guahan, does hereby, on behalf of Ilis Lator and Guahan and the people of Guam, recognize Guam's law enforcement officers on the celebration of National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day on January 9, 2022, and commend Guahan's brave men and women for their service and sacrifice to protect our island community. And be it further resolved that the Speaker and the Chairperson of the Committee on Rules certify and the legislative Secretary attest to the adoption hereof and that copies of the same be thereafter transmitted to the Guam Police Department, the Guam Customs and Quarantine Agency, Office of the Attorney, Attorney General, the Guam International Airport Authority Police, Port Authority of Guam, Guam Homeland Security, the Department of Agriculture, the Department of Corrections, the Department of Youth Affairs, and the Department of Parks and Recreation, and to the Honorable Lourdes A. Leongro I. Magahagan Guahan. So today we honor you. Go ahead and give you guys yourself a round of applause. Okay, very good. And um, at this time, I'm going to call up uh, each of you, um, your agencies that you represent, and you are welcomed to say a little bit about your agency and the great work that you've accomplished and how you've served our community. I'm sure the community would like to know. And so we'll start with the Attorney General. The Office of the Attorney General. <laughs> so you can just come around here and then when we give you your resolution, you can come to the mic and then just wait over here so we can take a group photo. I'm gonna reserve my time and I'll defer to Chief to talk about all the, <laughs> the great work. Uh, in seriousness, we, you know, all of the cases we prosecute are thanks to you guys' hard work and we want, we're, Glad to be partners with you all. I know we've been working on some issues last year. Looking forward to working with you all in 2022 and serving the people of Guam. And thank you for this. Thank you. And now we will call up the Guam Police Department. Good morning, everybody, and on behalf of the men and women of the Guam Police Department, we'd like to thank the uh, 36th Guam Legislature, uh, Senator Nelson and Senator Duane, for recognizing us on National Law Enforcement Day. The Guam Police Department is Guam's premier law enforcement agency, and we stand ready and proud to serve uh, our community anytime, anywhere, any day. And on behalf of uh, the men and women, uh, we'd like to thank our community for their support, and we'd like to thank uh, the people of Guam for supporting the Guam Police Department. Thank you. Our Customs and Quarantine Agency. Can you come up to? Thank you. Good morning. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be here uh, to receive this particular proclamation. Well, let me just say the Customs and Quarantine Agency is charged with protecting our borders. We are responsible for everything that comes into our island to ensure that we protect our people, our island, and our resources. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Guam International Airport Authority Police. Uh, 
half a day and on behalf of the executive manager, my deputy executive manager and our board and the women, men and women of the APD, we'd like to say thank you for recognizing uh, an important day like today, Senator Nelson, Senator Duenas. And uh, we'd also like to give thanks to um, the people of Guam because without them, our power is bestowed upon us by them. And so we are truly public servants and you know, we're here to protect life and property and work with our other uh, law enforcement agencies. Thank you. And our Port Authority of Guam Police. Do we have a port representative? Okay. Well, everyone put your hands together for Guam Homeland Security. So I, uh, I'm delighted to accept this certificate on behalf of Homeland Security with Sam Brennan and all the fine folks at Homeland Security. Um, you know, one fight, one team, uh, no matter what we do, we're always here to protect the homeland. And that's a testament of everyone that's seated in here right now, past, present, and future. So keep up the great work. And uh, without your, your recognition, Senator Duenas and Senator Nelson, uh, we could not have uh, gone this far. So uh, I gladly accept it. I feel like I'm in part of the Oscars that, you know, I'm <laughs> accepted on, on behalf of a team, but um, one team, one fight, forever Guam. Thank you so much. Happy New Year, everyone. Department of Agriculture. <laughs> Department of Corrections. Senators, thank you on behalf of the director and deputy director um, for recognizing us. Uh, I'm, re I'm the chief browser, but I'm the acting warden for the last month. So also uh, captains joining me here today, kind of exposing them to these kind of activities. But without you guys doing your work, I, I won't have a job. So <laughs> thank you guys. Okay. That's true. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> The Judiciary. Yeah. On behalf of the Judiciary of Guam, I'd like to thank the legislature, um, Senators uh, Nelson and uh, Duenas and for um, recognizing the work that we law enforcement officers do. Uh, as part of the judiciary, our role is to ensure the delivery of justice to the justice-involved clients that we served, and that it is done uh, in a fair manner, uh, upholding the orders of the court, and uh, also to provide whatever services that we can to ensure that they not only succeed in whatever their court conditions are, but also in supervision, but also to succeed in the community. And we would like the to thank the community and the family members of these individuals for their support. We'd like to thank our, our uh, fellow colleagues in the law enforcement community for also working with us to ensure that um, we continue our work and that they also continue to comply with the orders of the court. So thank you very much. Thank you, Department of Youth Affairs. Buenas and Biba de Nuevo. We're still in the first week on behalf of our director. Ms. Lonnie Brennan, our deputy, Ms. Krista Duggan, Jesus Masi, for everyone here, 
our officers with DYA for the whole joint task force that we've been enduring, going on two years in the next few months. Thank you, and most especially to the people, the people of the island, and especially the families of all our officers who have been there day and night to ensure whether it's shift operations, holidays, or any crisis that we were there to stand around at DYA. Sijus Maasi, everyone, thank you for everything. Department of Public Works and Department of Parks and Recreation. Okay, very good. Well, um, we'd like to thank all of you uh, through your leadership. You have kept our island safe. Uh, you have we have protected our families and our communities. And also, you know, these past two years haven't been very easy for, for the island, um, but it was through your hard work, perseverance, and dedication to our island community that we were able to see our way through the pandemic. And so looking forward to this upcoming year, we look to see all of the uh, fruits of the labor that you have done for the past two years. And um, you know, we honor you today. And uh, please go back to your uh, agencies and tell them that the people of Guam thanks them for their hard work and their endurance and also thank their families for us as well. Okay, thank you very much. And if you'd like to stay a little bit, we can take a photo and we can call everyone else up to the photo. Thank you.